Okay, so I'm going to go over a few things you can check if you're not getting a signal from your uh, webcam, your Lightburn camera. Um, you're not seeing mine just because it's dark uh, in the camera. There actually is, uh, it's been calibrated and everything. And uh, you can right click in here, by the way, and export your camera settings before you do anything. Now, if this is the first time you're setting your camera up, you may not have these settings already, so it may not work for you. Uh, but that's just something that's a good idea uh, to back up your camera calibration every once in a while once you get it just the way you want it and as long as nothing changes uh, if Lightburn loses that configuration you can try to load it um, but there's a couple of things you can try one of them is to go into the settings and if you'll see here uh, the camera capture system it's set to custom uh, this cap this capture engine was written um, are implemented by the developer uh, because using the default one which is Windows proved to be too problematic because every update uh, would affect the USB either the power save or the security um, mostly the security these little patches that they put out and it would constantly screw up the camera uh, so you can revert to the default capture system and see if uh, Windows capture system will recognize it. You have to close out of light burn and go back in. And then you can give that a try uh, and see if your camera is recognized. Uh, if it isn't, uh, I'd recommend while you're thinking about it, go back in and select custom again because that's probably going to be a better option. And then we can go and hit your start button and type in D-E-V-I-C-E. -E. You should see device manager. You may have to uh, keep typing to see it. And when you get in there, drag it over here. Um, you should see cameras. And you, you should only see one. I've got two lasers, so I've got two light ring cameras. Uh, well, I've got three lasers. But, well, two of them have cameras on them. Anyway, um, you can right click and uninstall the device and when you do that it may or may not ask you if you want to delete the driver also um, but if it gives you that option then yes uh, delete the driver as well and it's best after this to completely shut down your computer and start it back up and plug the camera back in and give it another try and when you go back into the device manager after you've restarted the machine um, you should see that your cameras have come back now <clears throat> if you still can't see them in Lightburn there's another way to test as well uh, let me pull this screen over you can go to webcamtests.com And I've already given it permission, but it'll give you, it'll come up with the thing that says, um, you know, you need permission or whatever. You'll have to allow it through the browser. Uh, I've already done that. So it'll go out and scan. And if you have more than one camera, it'll give you a choice, you know, where you can choose. Um, and it's actually going through and testing that camera's uh, frame rate and resolution and, and all of that stuff and giving you a report. So um, if you can see it here, then it's definitely not going to be the camera. It's something with your operating system so anyway those are a, a couple of things you can check uh, if you still have trouble uh, you can submit a support ticket to support at thunderlaserusa.com that's all I got thanks